Mike Richardson of Entertech Systems would like to thank Mr. James Wren for his invitation to the IMMS conference here in Baltimore. Mike met Mr. Wren at the IBEX show in Tampa last October. Mr. Wren thought Entertech's new smart fuel filter was very unique. The AutoSig passes the fire test, has a remote alert for water, removes water, and filters fuel. He contacted Mike and invited Entertech Systems to come and showcase their new AutoSig fuel filter system for all the marine surveyors at the IMMS. Let's start with a discussion about marine fuel filters and strainers. In reference to the ABYC standard H33 for diesel fuels and H24 for gasoline fuels, the standard, something that all surveyors are aware of, along with the necessary tests and requirements that fuel filters require. A key standard is the fire test that filters and strainers are required to pass. They must withstand a two and a half minute burn test. When you're surveying boats, many times you'll find filters that are not going to pass the standards and most were not meant for marine use. They're typically used by those who do not know the rules. Notice the various plastic components shown here in these photos. In the pictures, we show some plastic filter bowls, plastic drains, and plastic water sensors. Some of these filters can have a plastic bowl under H33 diesel as long as it is shielded. For example, if you have a metal shield like the one Raycor provides on their filter bowls, the stainless steel deflector shield in this photo, this will deflect the flames of the fire to pass the test. Of course, Endertech is not about passing tests. Years of boating experience tell Mike that robustness is best. One unique aspect of the AutoSig is inherent in its design. It will pass the UL1105, ABYC H33, and H24 fire test requirements. Of course, AutoSig has been tested by an outside laboratory to these standards as well. Entertech provides a few different interfaces as shown in these pictures. There is a gauge package that can be mounted on the helm of the vessel. There is also an IP67 rated indicator light that can be mounted on the helm as well. You can also work with OEM boat builders to develop whatever interface they would desire. People have asked, what if I can't find your filter with the probe inside? That's going to happen until Entertech has global exposure for AutoSig and it is more readily available globally. Entertech suggests keeping a few spare filters on board if possible. Many people may have a spare, but if they don't, AutoSig was designed with this concern in mind. AutoSig has a 112 inch pitch thread on the filter spud and the filter head will accept an OMC style spin-on filter. So, if you are without a spare filter, no matter where you are, you can go into a marina store or an auto parts store and purchase an OMC style fuel filter water separator with the same 112 inch pitch thread. Entertech doesn't want to leave anybody sit anywhere on open water. We understand and have been there, stranded on the open water ourselves in the past. It's not like a car. We can just pull over, call AAA. It's just not that simple. This is another unique feature of the AutoSig Smart Fuel Filter Water Separator. Let's move on to more testing and qualification for AutoSig. Entertech has applied to ABYC for the AutoSig to become an ABYC certified fuel filter water separator. The necessary testing and documentation has been submitted to ABYC. In the photos, we show the fire test cabinet and the tall AutoSig fuel filter being fire tested, along with the test completed results of the fire test. Photographs were provided to Entertech Systems by the outside test lab that did the testing. It's a fairly severe fire burn test. Shown is a thermocouple temperature probe near the bottom of the filter. Most surveyors are probably familiar with the two and a half minute heptane gasoline burn test. In that two and a half minute burn, the thermocouple must reach 1200 degrees F at some point. This is where any plastic fuel filter bowls, plastic elements and probes and drains are going to melt, leak and fail the test. Again, knowing Raycor to be a great filter with the concept of having a plastic bowl to see inside, they in turn 
needed to shield that bowl to pass the test. That's when they came up with the idea to place that stainless steel fire shield under the plastic bowl to protect it. It's kind of a unique way to pass the test. Entertech has had another outside lab do the water removal and dirt holding test, along with flow and efficiency testing. Autosig achieved the undissolved water removal at 99% efficiency. Other tests were done for Autosig's particle removal and beta ratios. All this data is on Entertech's website, where it can be looked at in more detail. To show how the filter itself was qualified, you will see two photographs of a cut open filter. The dirty side of the filter shows brown contamination and the clean side inside center of the filter shows free of contamination. This shows the quality of the water removal. Entertech also has done internal testing as well for thermal shock. Autosig cycled from approximately plus 300 degrees F down to minus 75 degrees F for the filter cans, assemblies, mechanics, as well as the electronics. Entertech also has in-house thermal shock testing and another test aspect to the flow rate. People ask what the fuel filter's flow rate is, and the test that was performed by the lab was 240 liters or 63 gallons per hour of flow rate on Otisig's largest filter. It was in 1982 when Mike talked with his previous employer about manufacturing a commercial type water and fuel sensor. The component he made for the main battle tanks was not only a water sensor, but it also operated a valve to purge any water out of the system. Of course, doing that today might offend the EPA, but if you're in a battle tanker situation, they don't worry too much about it. The owner was not interested in getting into the commercialized version and Mike asked him if he could develop it. The owner had no problem with that. Mike started to market his water and fuel sensors while working for his company. Subsequently, Mike decided to move on after he had acquired a potential customer. That potential customer happened to be Mercury Marine. This was about 1983. Mike had people from Mercury Mer Marine come to his parents' garage where his shop was set up. They decided to allow Mike to make this part for Mercury Marine's new laser EFI engine. Some surveyors may be familiar with the sensor. It's no longer manufactured and it was a two-cycle gasoline engine fueled water and fuel sensor, which was one of the first fuel injected outboard engines ever designed. Some of the pictures you see show how long the shop was set up in Mike's garage. They show the water modules for the battle tanks and the Mercury Marine part for the laser EFI engine. Mercury was Mike's first customer, which eventually lost Entertech out of the garage shop operation. Mike built his first water and fuel sensor module for Mercury Marine until the mid 2000s when they phased out the two stroke engines and went to the four stroke engines. That particular component was also phased out. Before that happened in 1984, an engineer for Raycor Filtration had heard about an ad Mike had run in Diesel Progress magazine, and they were interested in having him make a product for them. Raycor was having some problems with their current supplier, and Mike had an opportunity to introduce them to Entertech and what their capabilities were. Again, it was interesting because Mike picked up the chief engineer and the quality manager, along with the purchasing manager at the Cleveland airport and brought them to his parents' garage. The three of them gave Mike and his new company, Entertech, a shot to make one particular component for Raycor. As time went on, Entertech became a primary supplier to Raycor. Entertech has been involved in numerous projects with Raycor over the years and has supplied over 55 different components for them. Some of the components include water and fuel sensors, fuel heater controls, wire harnesses, along with other types of assemblies for them. Raycor is a great company, supplying great filters to Marine along with other industries. Mike did not want to compete for his good customer, but Entertech had a new direction for the industry, so they introduced their new filter, the Autosig, with its new concept and new water and fuel detection methods. 
Mike built Entertech's first production plant in 1989, moving from his parents' garage. It was a 4,000 square foot steel building on property Mike had acquired just outside of Sandusky, Ohio, in the township of Huron. The location is ideal with access to the Ohio Turnpike four miles down the road and Ohio Route 2 just two miles the opposite direction. Entertech subsequently continues to manufacture not only for Raycor, but designs and manufactures components for Cummins Filtration, Davco Filtration, and a variety of different companies, big and small. Primarily, Entertech has designed and manufactured water and fuel sensors and specialty assemblies for these companies. Entertech increased their floor space twice from the original structure. Entertech currently has 18,000 square feet of floor space and has been ISO certified for a long time. This is required by major OEMs that Entertech does business with. Some end user builders include, but are not limited to John Deere, Packard, who manufactures Peterbilt and Kenworth tractors, and even Tierra Boats uses Entertech manufactured water and fuel sensors under their stainless steel fire shield protected Raycor filter. People don't realize that Entertech's components are on fuel systems all over the globe. Entertech has had booths at a number of trade and boat shows. Mike has also talked to marine surveyors and other people about the requirements in these standards and tests. Many of the installations shown are not proper and many times people are not aware. Even boat yards and marinas may not be aware of the necessary requirements of these standards fuel filters must meet. Entertech has been told that insurance companies will sometimes contact a boat owner and ask them to take a photograph of the fuel filter system and send it in for their review. The insurance companies are wise enough and they understand that the, what the requirements are and wish to protect their investments. They will actually tell the boat owner to have the system fixed, repaired, upgraded, or whatever is necessary to meet the necessary standards. Coming soon, Entertech will be releasing an NMEA 2000 version of AutoSig. Entertech Systems is working with an engineering firm from Mystic, Connecticut. The NEMA 2000 version of the AutoSig fuel filter is shown in these photos. Entertech is working on having that version certified to the NEMA 2000 standard as well. We will have real-time water and fuel sensing on the NEMA bus just like we do with our standard AutoSig gauges and indicator lights. Real-time water and fuel sensing for both gasoline and diesel applications. Being able to plug into the NEMA 2000 backbone on vessels so equipped with the chart plotters and such is a huge plus these days. It's amazing how many vessels are going a chart plotter package system and getting away from standard gauges and indicator lights. This AutoSig NEMA version will be available after final testing is done. For more information, please visit entertech.com to view our AutoSig fuel filter water separator systems. You can also click on our YouTube channel from the webpage to view our current videos on AutoSig. As this video wraps up, Mike Richardson, owner and president of Entertech Systems, will be available to answer any of your questions. Thank you for watching.